welcome to everyone uh, now we move on to the last bit of the concept in amine chapter that is sulfur formation in the last video we uh, cut this uh, reaction we continue today in a sulfur formation reaction in aniline this is a very simple reaction friends uh, when uh, aniline i think all of you know the formula this is your aniline undergoes react with a concentrated sulfuric acid when aniline undergoes react with concentrated sulfuric acid yes it's a salt formation is a very simple reaction yes because aniline is a base sulfuric acid is an acid to form an salt and this nh2 can accept a one proton that becomes to the nh3 h so4 minus this is an salt will be formed we call it is an aluminium ani li ni an aluminium hydrogen sulfate aluminium hydrogen sulfate is an compound or a salt is formed and after this is strongly treated or heated at 453 to 473 kelvin temperature yes the proton release here yes automatically the formation of the compound is nh2 here the hydrogen is released you keep in your mind this h is come out is so3 h artha madbiru makale illi nh3 ide one hydrogen illi one hydrogen ide yes we had aromatic iddu one one yerad hydrogen one oxygen sir they release as an water ಅದೇ ಇನ್ನು ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಒಂದು ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಉಳಿದಿದ್ದೇನು ಎಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಎಚ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಎಚ್ ಏಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಲ್ ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಯು ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಎ ಎನ್ ಐ ಎಲ್ ಐ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೀಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ರೀಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೀಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಚ್ ತ್ರೀ plus and this is the so three minus we also call this part is a zwitter ion so what are zwitter ion zwitter ions are the dipolar ions they are the dipolar these are the dipolar ions so the dipolar ions exchange of h plus ions exchange of h plus ions from acidic to basic acid in the basic h equal bidagade aaganta atho transfer aaganta part na namu zwitter ion antu kariyutteve makale this is your reaction i repeat once again anilin react with sulfuric acid to form aluminium hydrogen sulfate it is an salt will be formed and this salt is strongly heated at the temperature is 453 kelvin to form a very important compound sulfenylic acid and it is form itself is a zwitter ion form there is an exchange of proton from so3 h to the nh2 group so this is a simple the last reaction of aniline part but we continue this uh, aniline chapter as your next unit is bdc or the isonium salts they mentioned in our syllabus a very interesting reactions is the isonium salt the isonium salt yes. very simple reaction disonium salt already we know this is a salt is a shortcut is a btc benzene disonium chloride how to form this benzene disonium chloride we know already disonization reaction friends when aniline reacts with nitrous acid we know nitrous acid is a chemical composition of NaNO2 and HCl sodium nitrite and HCl and this reaction is carried in presence of acidic medium at the temperature is 0 to 5 degrees celsius 0 to 5 degree celsius and aniline react with nitrous acid at to form the product is carefully not remember so this two hydrogen this one and so two three four hydrogens four hydrogen as a release as an 2h2 with the two oxygen So, two oxygen. What it remains? No, one nitrogen, one nitrogen, one CL, one two. I mean, this is N, 
double bond Yn in the CDC. C. This is called BDC. What is a BDC? Benzene. Benzene. Dizonium. Benzene. Dizonium. Chloride. Name of this compound? Benzene. Dizonium. Chloride. This is your dizonium salt or either benzene dizonium chloride formation. By using this reaction, we have a very important two leading reactions of our syllabus. The first one, sand meals. I repeat, sand meals reaction. The sand meals reaction will require and reagent is very important. CuCl in presence of concentrated heat. Reagent we keep in our mind, cuprous chloride and concentrated HCl. What happens? Very simple. Sir, when BDC, this is your BDC, when benzene dizonium chloride is strongly heated with cuprous chloride in presence of concentrated HCl, yes, to form a chlorobenzene, this is a uh, form a chlorobenzene and release. Nitrogen gas. This is our component is chloro benzene. I repeat, sand meal reactions. When benzene dizonium chloride is treated with cuprous chloride in presence of concentrated HCl to form our chloro benzene. This is your sand meal reaction. Yes, along with the same sand meal reaction, we have another one is gutter one. Reaction. Maybe determines reaction. Here also we use a reagent. It's a copper in presence of concentrated HCl. Hence, in the place of cuprous chloride, we determine to use copper metal. Sir, this what happens? Very simply, this is your BDC. This is your BDC, benzene disonium chloride, is strongly treated with. Copper concentrated HCl, copper concentrated HCl, say to release nitrogen gas, to release nitrogen gas, and we are also to form the product is your chlorobenzene. Yes, these are the two important reactions of the cell of sand meals and gutter I repeat, sand meals reaction use cuprous chloride. Determine use copper metal. The difference only the catalyst. The reaction benzene disonium chloride to the chlorobenzene, benzene disonium chloride to the chlorobenzene, both uses to release of nitrogen gas. In this reaction, there is a nitrogen gas is released. These two reactions we already learned in the chapter hello alkene and hello reams. That's in the preparation of chlorobenzene also. So today we have an uh, benzene disonium chloride how to prepare. And with corresponding two reactions, one is sand meal and another one is gutter man, both uses to the chlorobenzene. These two is a major part of this, yeah, this unit. And lastly, we have an, another reaction by using BDC, benzene disonium chloride. We have an, two important reactions of uh, in our status. So commonly called is an Coupling reaction. Coupling reaction. So very important. Couple means to join one another. Couple, couple together. Sir, so what are the coupling reactions? So combination of benzene disonium chloride with either phenol or either were aniline to form an dyes. Dyes means a color flex. To form an dyes. So that is called azo dyes. So, benzene disonium chloride again, phenol with aniline in a reaction mode there, now we get azo dyes go to work to them a play, how can we get bundle to work to them, so how can we get the coupling reactions in the very good now. So, we are with the marbles, sir, very simple, we start with the, our first compound, is your N, double bond N, C. So, name of this compound, B, D, C, benzene disonium chloride. Benzene disonium chloride is treated with your compound is a phenol. This is our phenol. 
and the disodium chloride is react with phenol to keep in your mind phenol is acidic that's why this medium is required as a dc and this hydrogen keep your sir this aromatic hydrogen is combined they combine with the cl to release as a hydrochloric acid what it remains this is your compound benzene this is your n double bond n and this component directly attach this azo compound with oh this is your final product this is called n double bond n we call this compound is a very simple in pattern is attached here is a para position para hydroxy with para hydroxy azo benzene from the product para hydroxy azo benzene i repeat when benzene is in the chloride is treated with the phenol in basic medium this is your basic medium to form the product is para hydroxy azo benzene as similarly another one we have an another azo compound is same in your bdc now react with aniline this is your aniline nh2 react with aniline but keep yourself aniline is a base now we require an acidic medium to neutralize this is your acidic medium due to this acidic medium this h is combined with this here now it is a base of hydrochloric acid and you have combined azos they are free this is your benzene n double bond n retains and attached with this aniline the form is is your benzene this is once again to form azos now the compound is a para amino this para amino azo para amino azo benzene and para hydroxy azo benzene these are the two important coupling reaction i repeat once again the coupling reaction in this part friends the combination of benzene disodium chloride with either a phenol or either a aniline to form the compound with n double bond n this is called azos or either dyes to form in a colors is an orange color with the phenol as and similarly what aniline this is the last reaction of this chapter is coupling reaction the combination of bdc to phenol bdc to the aniline but keep yourself phenol you require basic medium aniline you require acidic medium itself because phenol is acid aniline is a base this is the last bit of your chapter amines please practicing more and more for these reactions and continue the next unit in the next class thank you